Good morning, Ron. A lot of consternation about what school might possibly look like, whether you need to be in class, out of class, and the like. But the concern uh, there has been, you know, pretty steady. The issue of budget funding, well, that's a whole other thing. And there is a vast budget deficit in the state of Michigan. And that's what the Senate and the governor and the leadership decided they needed to address. And they did that over the weekend. The governor and the legislative leadership announced they reached a deal just ahead of Saturday's special Senate session. Highlights of the return to school look like this. $583 million in federal coronavirus relief funds dedicated to schools, including $350 per pupil, more than $50 million in hazard pay for educators, and $18 million for safety measures and local benchmark assessments to figure out how kids are doing. A uh, 7525 formula to determine attendance means that 75% will be counted from last year's total of students versus 25% from online attendance, and not everybody's happy about that. Here we are at the 11th hour uh, with school starting back up in two weeks, and we have a deal announced in which they are completely rewriting the rules for schools and making it uh, every bit harder for any school district to get their schools reopened successfully and get their kids the support that they deserve. McCann objects to the 7525 formula. He believes they should simply go off of last year's attendance number. State Representative Pamela Hornberger, a former educator, says no way. When we look at every year for the past 10 years, we know that pretty much every district has lost students every year. There is a natural attrition because there are less kindergartners and there are more seniors graduating. So you've got less kindergartners coming in because the population rate is going down and you have more seniors graduating. And so now what? Well, the House votes on the bill today. Uh, chances are it will pass, so we'll see. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.